What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Brian Flicks here, bringing you guys another video. So, we are actually here with Tony from Routers Details, and he's showing me how to professionally do headlight restorations, right? Start to finish. So, I'm gonna just take you guys along with me in the journey, show you how the process as well. He's gonna be sitting next to me, guiding through the process. First thing we're gonna do is ask the tape. Protect. Why, we, why should we add tape, Tony? The why reason why? Because you want to protect the paint. You know, that's the main thing. You don't want to hit it with the wet sanding, like with the sandpaper, you know, and stuff like that. So that's, that's something that you need to protect. So definitely always use tape, right? Always use oh, yeah. tape. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually my mobile detailing van. So we're going to treat it as if it was a regular client as well. I need to get that mic that you wear like on a shirt or something. That would be nice. I gotta get my oh. audio better and stuff. Well, I, I got one, but I don't use it that often because like I'm always, you know, trying to get things done. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's you know, hard to talk. talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just, like I'll just do a, I'll just do it like a voiceover later. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. All right, so we have the tape on there. Is that good? Do we need to ask him back here? Like, uh, like yes, I will do it. Yeah. Go ahead and ask the tape down here to you guys. Thank you for taking time out for day two, Tony. I no appreciate problem, it. Buddy. I don't know what time is it, like six o'clock dinner time? A minute, yeah. We both out here getting hungry and stuff. So we're gonna get this deep done. Oh yeah. Alright, so we have this pump spray. This is a nice pump spray too, man. This is from Home Depot. Home Depot, six bucks. Six bucks, man. It works just as good as any other pump spray. So we're gonna give it a few pumps. This has O&R. O&R. O&R, optimum no rinse. Give it a few pumps and some water. Or you can use just spray water as well. Like, All right. I just have it. So we just spray it. Do we have to clean it first? Wipe it off? Like, if in this case, like you can clean it first if you want. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're just gonna skip that. Okay. You know, for, you know. Like, Take we can time. do it if you want. Like, no, no, no. I got clay bar. <laughs> we all good. But, you know, like, you want to clay it so you don't get a lot of stuff in your uh, sandpaper. But in okay. this case, we can just go straight. Like. All right, so for those of you that are going to say and clown me in the comment section, right? So I have done uh, headlight restoration before. Only thing I would do is just be compound and seal. But Tony's telling me that, you know, there's a more professional and a longer, uh, durable way to do it. So it's pretty basic. So I just wanted to make sure that I shared it with you guys so you guys can also become better detailers for yourself. Also upcharge for this type of, you know, quality service. So he has this drill here, man. This thing is next level. I really uh, like it. <laughs> what, is, what brand? It's Milwaukee? Like it's, nah, I mean, this it's, uh, Battery powered, pretty powerful. Where did you buy this? Uh, you can get those ones in Home Depot. Home Depot as well. There's like uh, 70 bucks and oh, okay. plus the battery, you gotta buy the batteries as well. But you can get that for like $120 with two batteries and you charge it. Okay. I really like it because it's, nice it's, it's kind of like a polisher so you got the more control right. than just using the drill, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is nice man, honestly. I've never seen something like this. But hey, that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. Kind of just so this already has a thousand sandpaper on it, correct? Yeah, that's a thousand sandpaper. Yeah, thousand. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and start on this thing. Area, what I will do instead of go like this and yeah. try to catch with the, this area oh, so you can tilt it with this. This is not going to stop spinning, so you can tilt it and just try to catch this. And also, don't put much pressure that way. This is not going to work away, you know, like right, like it's going to be more like let it work, let it work, let it do the thing, you know, like that. And that try to not go this way. This corner here, just keep it right here all, all the time. Gotcha. As much as you can. Let's, let's say, for example, uh, you want to inspect what you're doing already. So, like, the best way is, like, if you go, like, from side to side all the way, and then you start from bottom, not, like, going, mm -hmm. you know, cross hatch bottom, very right. much. 
and do it like I want to say two times and once you do it because you want to make sure that you cover the entire area for example right here you yes, see we, 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 missing, oh, we are yeah. missing this area so that's when the, whenever you want to tilt the, the, the so drill a little like bit this. in order to hit those areas so let's put some more water and hit that area Now, if I'm a newbie, how would I be able to determine this is a 2000? I know like, sometimes the packs come labeled, but what if it like gets loose? Like this one here doesn't doesn't tell you much. No. Nah. But you can feel it. Okay. You you can feel the abrasive, you know, on this. So that's what it's gonna tell you, you know. So if we, if you grab the other one, feel that one. Now feel the the, the thousand one. Oh man huge difference like my finger almost gets stuck on it yeah and now you can get the 3000 and then you're gonna see the difference well the 3000 is it's totally different yeah this one is definitely labeled so I don't know if you there guys you go. can see but that one is definitely labeled with the 3000 and it's a lot thicker it's definitely a huge difference yeah you would you would definitely be able to tell all right damn so we're going to 2000 now mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and Slap that sucker on there. All right. So mm -hmm. now we just follow the same concept. Same thing, side you know. Side, mm -hmm. And up. up and down. Okay. Now, how many how many passes is ideal? Is it is it one pass? Maybe two? Maybe as many as you need. It depends. See? Depends on the headlight. Like every okay. headlight is gonna be different. Some headlights don't. You might be even can. Sometimes you can skip. You know, like few steps if the headlight is not too bad. Okay. Yeah. So this is 2000 here, That's you guys. 2000 now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that top part last because I gotta stand up for it. So. you got you are going like too fast and stuff like that so yeah like it's, it's better if you go slower all right we're going to do it the right way this time okay <laughs> <laughs> hey man me and tony we just be having a good time man we don't no hard feelings i know you guys are going to comment and stuff but tony is a good guy he's nice he's friendly he's not doesn't mean any bad by what he's saying man he's just trying to make sure that i get it through my hard head and make sure that it sticks. So when I go out there and do it for detailing cars, I'm doing it the right way and I'm not jacking, you know, or trying to Correct. rush the process. That's so, the point, you know, like. Yeah, we're just trying to build good habits. That's, that's all. right. <laughs> trying to build good habits. Let's see, Let's see what Tony grades is. All right, so we did. 1,000, 2,000. Now, you said 3,000, right? So you told me earlier, this is the one that clears it up. Correct. So basically, you want to see fog or you want to see some type of uh, irritation on the headlight. I don't know how to, you know, call it, but you don't want the headlight to be. Pretty much what we are creating right here is, is, is a bunch of scratches, okay? Okay. The, the, the 1,000 uh, grit, um, Sandpaper is gonna do, you know, like deep scratches. The thousand grit is gonna remove the scratches from the, the I mean, the 2000 is gonna remove, it's gonna make finer the scratches. Okay. So, you know, the same thing with this one here, it's gonna do finer and finer the scratches until you get to the compound, you know? Right. The compound is gonna do as well scratches. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, you know, whenever you come to the polish is whenever you're going to correct the majority of them. But in this case, we are going to be applying a uh, ceramic coating. So the ceramic coating is going to fill up some scratches as well. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically we're just trying to get this to look like that. Correct. Like that one there. Perfect. So. Perfect. This is, are we good with the 3000? How does it look? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. good. Now we can move on to the, so we're gonna to the compound. To, to we the can pick up the... Um, it's right here actually. Oh, right here we got the SPTA rotary. So we're going to be using that one. Alright guys, so here uh, the kit that we are using is the 3M kit. We can find this in Amazon for about 12 bucks. Yeah, under pretty $20. Much under $20 so it's a good kit and you can do headlights with this thing I want to say I use it for I can do like five five times with wow. the same kit that's a good investment yeah it's good like it's so cheap you can use the same um, I use this a little bit not so much but you can use any other compound you know to kind of uh, get the headlights you know to the best all right so we have the SPTA uh, polisher here. So we have the compound already applied to our cutting pad, which this is all routers equipment, right? So I'm not, you know, I have some similar to this, but I don't have this exact setup. So just to give you guys a little overview. So this is a cutting pad, and then we have that uh, compound polish thing Pre on combo. here. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it for a few passes on here. And then we'll mm -hmm. just go ahead and wipe it off. Right now it's gonna spill one and then you, <laughs> with that thing, switch up. yeah, you can switch it up and okay. spill, uh, spread your product first and you know. Man. Now, how do I change the speed? Uh, you don't have to, I it's gonna spill one. That's, okay. powerful that's super powerful. All right, I never used this SPTA, so I might fall in love with it now, I don't know. Let's see. Don't put any pressure on it. Yeah, that's, that switch is a little hard. You gotta press and push. By the way, uh, yeah. Right, just, Let me see. You got to cut this part up. tape and then we're gonna put some uh, alcohol and stuff like that so this is the 50% alcohol 50% water that we were talking about so we're just gonna spray it on there we have a brand new towel that Robert just gave us it's not new but it's all right oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we showed you guys earlier the ceramic uh, clear coating so Rada says this is for the headlights, but he also uses it for the trim because it works just as good as well. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use one hand without touching this. So do we want a, a square? You, like I like to like keep it, on, it? On, yeah, fold it in four, uh, like the way it was, you know, and then just uh, kind of do one one pass, you know. Just one pass. Better side if you don't side. touch the paint. Okay. With it, just try to do the headlight, you know. You don't want to spray and coat the paint when you do no correction. All right. All right. Make sure to look, inspect, make sure it's even. Up here. Get that corner good. Like, because the temperature here is good, you can pass one more time but if it's hot and you are in like in the direct sunlight you're just gonna want do one pass even and that's it and then you gotta throw that thing away because by that time it, that thing is gonna be dry it's gonna kind of like crystallize i think that's the right word or no <laughs> i think it might be i don't know maybe but anyways yeah so that's good we'll just apply it to the yeah and then just you just sit. yeah you let it sit and then just do the plastic as well you know like and this is because this is our personal, our vehicle. personal vehicle, so 
and then you guys won't see the difference right there because we already did half of it and that thing is is really good we just finished applying the ceramic to the headlights and also the trim here you guys can see the difference between the before and now you can see that it's coming together as a whole so we're f uh, fully finished with this is there anything else we should do on uh on this or not like well uh once again yeah uh sarah code they do have the the coating you know for for the trim so like we just do this because i right. like to do it like that you know yeah. uh and then that thing is gonna last pretty good on on the on the trim you know right. so but you know the recommendation i would say just get the right stuff you know for right, right. for each but so everyone has their own style of how they detail and how they do things right it's all about what works best for you for your business whatever you know budget and stuff like that works best it's just as long as you're getting the client results that they're happy with and they're satisfied with so we ended up uh, adding this as our last last step so the headlights and the trim looks brand new and we're gonna go ahead and be able to see a lot better at night when we're driving so Without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and end the video here. Please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Like always, check out the man's channel, Rado's Details, I'll link everything down below, cause he is the myth, he's the legend, and you know, we all appreciate this man right here. So, Thank you, yeah, he showed me kinda just how to do a professional headlight restoration from start to finish, while also bringing you guys value and teaching you guys how to do stuff as well, cause it's all about learning, man. Even if you feel like you're at the top, you're still gonna, you know, wanna learn and keep, you know, growing and growing. So, yeah, anything else you wanna add to the video, brother? Before we end it Well, here? Uh, no, just, you know, check out Ralda's details, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. And yeah, yes, sir. we're still learning, guys. Uh, like, I learned from a lot of other detailers, you know, and whatever knowledge I get, I try to pass that to other detailers as well. Uh, and that's why we got these YouTube channels, you know, yeah. in order to help each other. Uh, and stuff like that so it's pretty nice perfect man perfect once again thank you brother i'm gonna go ahead and do this hand because i got the ceramic on this right hand. appreciate you guys for watching like comment share subscribe like i said subscribe to his channel check out his videos and all his setups and stuff like that a lot more content coming your guys way so peace out hustle never settle let's go